Yar! This is be Mr. Clifford with ACDC Econ. Key concepts in 60 seconds. We're gonna talk about supply and demand today. You already know about supply and demand, how they're related, at least you should. We're gonna talk today about how the curves shift because of the different shifters. There's five demand shifters and six sh supply shifters, depending on what your teacher teaches you. But they're all ag agreed upon concepts. Here we go, 60 seconds to talk about shifting the curve. Ready and boom, go. The first example over here for every single one of these is corn. Corn makes you smarter. Making you smarter is going to be a demand shifter because it's going to affect consumers. It's not going to affect the production, so it's not supply. The curve is going to shift to the right. The increase in demand shifts to the right. Here's why. The price stays the same, right? The price is here. More people want to buy it. That's a shifter to the right. That'll happen in every single quantity. The result is, as you can see, price goes up and quantity goes up. I can see that right here with an arrow. You got to write that down. Price up, quantity up. Down here, good for uh, corn cause, causes uh, baldness. So you're bald, people don't want that. Demand's gonna go down. A shift to the left, that means as you can see, price goes down and quantity goes down. You write that right here, price down, quantity down. Over here, supply, more corn producers. Well, that's gonna affect production, not the demand, it's not gonna affect consumers, but there's gonna be more production, so that's an increased supply shift to the right. So you can see P1, and Q1, price goes down, quantity goes up. And here for our last one, there's a drought. That's a decrease in supply, shifting of the curve to the left. P1 and Q1, price goes up, quantity goes down. 60 seconds, a little over. Hey, until next time. Wait a second. Let's slow down, let's have a bonus round. This is where you're gonna mess up. These ones are really easy. An increase in demand to the right, decrease in demand to the left, that's easy. Just read the graph. This one gets a tricky because when you see more corn producers, you're tempted to say, oh, an increase looks like this. Oh, people produce more corn. That doesn't make sense. Here's why. At this price, good, if there's more corn producers, but at the same price, there'll be more people who are producing corn. And at this price, more producers. This price, more producers. So that's the idea. The curve shifts to the right. So an increase in supply is a rightward shift. And you just read the graph to identify what happens to price. Down here, as you can see, at this price, there's a certain amount of producers, and now the, the, the corn production has decreased. And the reason why it decreased is because there's a drought, right? There's less corn produced, and here there's less corn produced, less corn produced. If that makes sense to you, supply curve shifts to the left, price goes up, quantity goes down. Good. Till next time.